you know, quite sort of parasitic in a way or circular. The press is often like the sort of clearing house for whatever's flying around and the mechanism by which people's careers can be derailed or destroyed and your own career can get advanced or the interests of your party can, can be furthered is through the press. He was so good this morning on air. He's just really natural and funny. Well, you know, he's and... my favourite. Dave is amazingly supportive and at times I'd say protective. Did you say that on air? Yeah. Right. I think sometimes it was probably hard for Dave to see some of the stuff that we deal with every day that a lot of people don't get a chance to see. I think it, it, um, it, up, it upset him. We met when I was editing The Telegraph and she was a minister in the Rudd government. I'd interviewed Kate a couple of times and I just thought I'd have a bit of a lash and um, back myself and I asked her out for a meal. And to my uh, eternal surprise and relief, she said yes. And it all sort of took off in a major way from there. I think that people on the outside look at Dave and I and they see an opinionated talkback radio host and even more opinionated Murdoch columnist versus a lefty do-gooder um, politician or former politician and people scratch their heads a bit. I've got his lunch stuff already, so that's one less thing we have to worry about. Yeah. People think that we're going to sit around at home at night talking about tax policy or the welfare state. When the reality is that um, you know, we're more likely to be talking about um, who's getting the kids from childcare, what we're having for dinner, and whether we're going to the footy on the weekend or not. We don't really care that we don't agree on everything anyway. But I actually think the one thing that Kate and I really do agree on in a really full on way is that women in this country are often treated really badly. ...to Brittany Higgins and reading out this statement from the radio station on air. We acknowledge that the comments were completely inappropriate and offensive. The views expressed by Mr Cordo do not reflect those held by 5AA and Nova Entertainment and we unequivocally withdraw them. Mr Cordo's employment has been terminated. It's been a crazy week, hasn't it? I mean